Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Alyssa and this is my channel, She Bif She Writes Books. Today we are going to be taking a look inside my Traveler's Notebook because last night I was T9 paper and I made an insert and I also made it, started making an insert and finished it um, last night. So I started it earlier in the day and I finished it during the night. And last night before I went to bed, I have this twine from my art class because we're working on our finals right now. So I pulled some of that out and I ended up taking this set of um, charms that I have. They're like Cinderella or like princess charms. So I have a castle, I have the little um, pumpkin carriage. And I also have a crown and a shoe and a frog, which I'll just show you. So I got the shoe and also the frog from Princess and Frog. And I saw these at Joann's and I could not leave them. They were so cute. So I have a pen on here that I just kind of keep on my rubber band. Sorry if I'm moving slow, I just got up and I decided to film this video after watching a couple of them. <laughs> after watching a couple of them. So I ended up adding a third string to this and just kind of tying it around to the middle of, or putting it through the middle of the journal, not necessarily as a bookmark in the inserts, but just through the middle. Um, and I could probably even use this third one as another um, insert holder, but I think my journal is kind of full right now, so I won't do that now, but I am really happy and proud that I was finally able to get these strings in through the charms because it was a pain. I kind of just braided it to add a bit more interest in that charm. So I have already been using this with the ones that I made and just stapled together. Um, so here I have this scraps and ephemera area, so I have like a paper clip, I have, um, little scraps and things that I can use whenever I want, and on here, which is one of the pocket cover sides, um, I actually put my planner insert for this month. In here so I made a little bullet journal insert which I need to fill out for today um, I just have my contact information and just like yeah and this is the first little page for my bullet journal I'm turning it over I have a quote with a heart on the bottom learn to love yourself that's something I've been learning recently um, it is the sixth day of December, so I do need to color that in, but this is kind of like how I'm, uh, counting down to Christmas. Not very fancy, and not very pretty looking, but this is, like, a minimalist, uh, bullet journal setup. And then here, I have the first two kind of to-do list spreads, so... As you can see, I just, I use the bullet journal method, um, just in a more simpler way. So this was from yesterday, let's kind of just draw, oh, if it will work, there we go, draw a line across there, so that I can write for today. And I don't have anything else in there. I do have on the back of this a word count tracker for my current novel, which I hope you don't see that title, for my current novel. And I am almost to 30,000 words, so that's why I went straight to 30,000 words, 40, 50. And if the book ends up being longer, then I will fill up the rest of the page. I think I'm getting sick. Sorry if I sound a little off. Um, here's the other side of the flap. I have a date here for my math final. And then I ended up adding this insert, which I made last night. I T9 papers, so it's all 
crunchy and I actually tore that page and a little bit down here on the, sec on the second page but I liked how it looked and I don't know what happened to the, to the piece that I had but this is my poetry section um I have three poems in here so far um that I've written and if you want to see them you can go on my Instagram which I usually leave down in the description box below because I am trying something new with my Instagram for the next little while and just trying a new style. Um, I love how my piece of ink paper turned out. I just used sketchbook paper from my sketchbook, which is right here. Um, it's a multi-use paper, so it turned out pretty good. And then I tied it off with the thread, and this is a pain in the butt tying it off. Um, and then we have, so that's my whole poetry section. Um, I don't think I'll use this for poetry. I think I might use it for journaling. Um, I might use it for both journaling and poetry, but this is my actual journal entry. I do have another, uh, nope, I don't. Okay. So, <laughs> I have my poetry or my journal entry. So I have a couple of journal entries so far. I wrote pretty much most of the day yesterday and I also have played with some ink um, that my teacher had because we're in our ink unit in art and I was just messing around with the red and black ink. So that's why we have that and that's the kind of texture that the um, sponge I was using had. This is my favorite spread out of the whole thing. Um, I'm only going to be writing on the top and bottom of this page today, probably. And I'm not going to be writing on this just because I want to keep it like that black and red um, scratch. But I took the sponge and I had black on one side, red on the other, and I just twirled it. And I thought that looked really cool, so I just kind of left it. Especially with the black seeping through from the other side. Um, or just from, I don't know. <laughs> and then I have some pages with stamps on them, a little frog, a hand. Um, I think the Leaning Tower. I'm not sure because the stamp on the... You know how the stamp usually has a photo on the wood part, the handle? Um, that was rubbed off, so I couldn't tell what this was, and I think it's the Leaning Tower. It didn't come out as full, because the ink is kind of drying up, because they're older ink pads that she's had for a while, my teacher. And here's some dolphins, and that's kind of the end of my second or third, I don't, third or fourth insert, and this one I added another insert inside of my sketchbook insert. So this little guy is the sketchbook part. And then this is where I have the second one. I did this with ink and I did it with kind of three different colors. That I did with a brush. This I just took the ink pad and just kind of rubbed it on there. Um, that ink part didn't work out that well and I just kind of left the other pages blank because at the time I did not have the time to finish doing that so that is all of that and I think that's it so this is my traveler's notebook for right now I'm really happy with how it's turned out I've had this one since um November of last year, I think. So I've had it for the three semesters of school, but I just recently found it and I actually kind of forgot that I had this. And then when I was watching some Traveler notebook vi videos on YouTube, I realized, wait, I have one. I forgot that I had one and I got this at Michael's in case you were wondering. It was about $14 and I did have inserts but they are all filled up and up on my bookshelf. 
Um, so I had to make some more and I like how chunky it is. And today I'm actually going to be making some more tea dyed um, inserts so that I can just eventually have everything vintage. Uh -oh. My favorite part, I still can't believe it. I finally was able to use these last night because I realized, hey, let's make a little charm. Actually, I want to try something. Wow, I still got you. Yeah, so I think I could use this as another thing. So let's just move this little guy, Seven Pins Dude, and put him all the way in the back. Because this is also a lot smaller of an insert. I just love the way it looks. Sweet. So I just made I just made myself a little rubber, like not rubber band insert, but just a little insert section that I can do or have. So probably by my next flip through it will be all um vintage paper. Because I still have black tea left and I probably will get more black tea as well as just paper to be able to do this with. And who else loves the sound of like canine crunchy paper? I love it and can't wait to write on it. Anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like more Traveler Notebook videos please let me know down below and let me know your ideas that you would like to see with it or like any journaling videos with it because I used to do journaling videos on Thursdays but then stopped that and I mostly do writing videos now so if you would like to see any more journaling videos especially traveler notebooks journaling videos I don't travel a lot, a lot but um I love that I have this um, just as my regular journal and I'm actually planning on saving up for uh, one that I found that on Etsy so you might see that in the future I don't know um, anyways that is my video thank you for watching please leave your suggestions on journaling videos down below and don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you didn't like this video thank you and i'll see you later bye everyone